Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai Bahashim Rakakudash, double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, and citations to Yahakim, pushing this word in truth and sincerity with charity. This is the brother Abiyala coming at you with another lesson through the spirit and power Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai Bahashim Rakakudash. And on this video, is going to be based off Matthew's 19th chapter, the 26th verse. And one thing I want to say before I read is that um, we got to put the Heavenly Father above all things, man. You know, He comes first. Yahweh Hashem Yahshai comes first because He's our Savior. He's a Redeemer. And He's about to do a lot of miracles during the time of Jacob's trouble and is doing miracles as we speak now through His Word. All right, he's brought, He brought us out of darkness, out of gross darkness. And He's blessed us with the gift of faith. And with that, man, we got to serve the Lord with, with uh, all our might because we can never go enough. Right, the scriptures told you that that uh, we gotta walk worthy in this vocation that we've been called. All right, because this is this is a precious thing that 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 has been um handed handled on uh, handed on to us, man. All right, with much uh you know, scripture says much is given, much is required. I right? have a responsibility. We actually have the the souls of our nation in our hands, man. If the, you know, for those that you know can receive it. You know, uh, and those that we could wake up, man. I mean, the script, the scripture says that the angels rejoice. <clears throat> so this is a mighty work, man. The angels, the, even in fact, the angels say they wish to look on the things that we uh, uh, could see, man. All right, because the angels are looking down on us, and and they're wooed, man. They're, they're wooed at at the job or the work that the Lord has uh, um, imputed us, man. You know, we gotta strive, uh, uh, you know, for the masteries. You know, strive lawfully. All right, that you know that we may labor to enter into that rest, and what that man is 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 is, is a blessing because we we do it through faith, man. All right, because that faith is what makes us do the works. You see, you know, because not everyone's you know blessed with faith, man. You know, these people out here in the world are bugged out, you know, lost. All right, living after the rudiments of this world can't can't fathom to you know put the flesh under subjection. All right, this is a, a wicked society, man. A wicked and, and, and you know dangerous society, man. And you know you really gotta look on your on, on yourself and in the brotherhood, all right? Because we are the body of Yahweh Shai, and this this really all we got. You know, we all we only have the the, the body, you know Yahweh Shai in the body, man. All right. You know, and whoever's of the elect, you know that that's who you that pertains to, man. You know, and we, we, we must, uh, you know, not let the the world suck us in, man. Because this is a Malachi Malachi uh, three and ten says uh, what uh, that this world is polluted and it shall uh, destroy you with a sword destruction. So if you're in this world, man, living after the rudiments of this world, man, then you're gonna be uh, sucked in with that folly, with that wickedness. All right, that's what Scripture says. It says evil communications corrupt good manners. So this place is corruptible. Right, but we got the faith of Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, to continue to endure, man. And we pray that we of of that elect. All right, so we must keep our eyes single and keep us keep ourselves, uh, um, you know, occupied till Yahweh Shai comes back, because Yahweh Shai is gonna come back and and bring a a, 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 a amazing uh destruction, amazing uh, uh um. It says the sword should be bathed in heaven, man. So you, hey, the Lord came as a lamb. Now He's gonna come as as a lion, man. A fierce lion, all right, to pierce the, pierce those that pierce them, man. So judgment and justice and and, and and revenge is coming, man. All right, justice is gonna be done on the planet Earth. So you, you must believe that. All right, any ill doings, any wrong that anybody has done unto you, man, how about Shimi Shai is gonna come and fix that for us, man. We just must endure the hardness and the harshness, man. Whether it be the afflictions of the Lord or your, you know, even yourself, uh, you self harm, you make your, you, you know, you make yourself, you know, uh, 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 catch hell by your wrong, uh, you know, uh, you know, decisions. But guess what, man? Everything's a learning process, man. If you help Hashem is dealing with you, man, all right, the Lord's gonna uh, uh, reveal anything, any secret sin, anything, all right. So we must continue our faith, you know, uh, grounded, man. Cause Yahweh Shai is that is is that is that uh um, he's our foundation, man. All right.
So this is the book of Matthew 19 and 26 it says, but but Yahweh Shai beheld them and said, Matter of fact, I want to read a little bit more up so you get a little context. This is uh, Matthew 19 and 23 it says, Then said Yahweh Shai unto his disciples, Verily I say unto you, that a rich man shall hardly enter into the kingdom of heaven. And again I say unto you, it is easier for a camel to go through an, the eye of a, of a needle than for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of the Most High. When his disciples heard it, they were exceedingly amazed, saying, Who then can be saved? But Yahushai beheld them and said unto them, With men it, this is impossible, but with the Most High all things are possible. All right, so the Lord called us, right? He called us for a reason. He called us for a purpose. And whether it's because, you know, you deserve a harsh judgment or because you, you are going to be delivered and saved. All right? Because you know that those that look back and turn back from the plow, it, it, it was, you know, it, it was better for them not to know the way of righteousness and then to uh, fall back to the world, man, because they're going to be being with many stripes. Than those that did not know the truth and and, and were uh, never uh, um, uh, uh, received of the good word, man. So it's either the Lord hates you or the Lord loves you, man. All right, because a hey, uh, the Lord, hey, the Scripture says, man, uh, uh, if you're lukewarm, you who spew you out. But the, also the Lord said that He's not He hasn't appointed us to wrath, but unto unto salvation. So if we're in this truth sincerely, man, the Lord doesn't it hasn't appointed us unto wrath, man. If we really believe the words that that that, that we speak, all right, the scripture says, uh, "I believe, therefore I have spoken." So there's a reason why we we are diligently are constantly doing this work, man. There's there's, there's that drive that we have that, that hey, that's that faith we have, man. You know the spirit of Yahweh Shimia Shai in us that that constantly makes us do this work, man. All right. And the spirit says that, and the scripture says that the spirit makes intercession for us, man. So even when we don't pray, man, the spirit's constantly, you know, praying for us, man. You know, to the heavenly fathers. So it says, verse twenty-seven. Then answered Peter and said unto him, Behold, we have forsaken all and followed thee. What shall we have therefore? All right, and that's a good question because, you know, we could be in the world living it up, and said at this moment now, man, what what can you do, man? A, a, there's a so-called pandemic. You know, all, all the mirth is gone. You know, all the enjoyment that once these people once had has been taken from them. So that sorrow is coming, man. That lamentation is coming. But for us, we're rejoicing because we're looking for the days to come where Yahweh Shai comes and sets things back in order, man. We, we want this place to be destroyed, man, to fall. All right? Because this, this place is, is corrupt. This, this place is set up by Esau Edom, which is which is the devil. And he has polluted the minds of our own people. That's why our women are out of order. Our, our, our men are out of order. They're, they're, uh, they're not men no more. You see? So we want a righteous kingdom, man. We want a righteous king ruling over us, which is that's Yahweh Shai, not this wicked devil, perverse. All right? Who is as death, as the scripture says. You know, we, we want a righteous king, man, and and Yahweh Shai is coming to uh, retake his throne. And, he, and guess what? The blessing is that we're going to be joint heirs with him. So, hey, we, hey, we're not missing out on anything, man. All right, these people out here are through. They're absolutely through, man. Hey, nothing can compare to what Yahweh Shai has in store for us. All right? No eyes have seen or heard what the Lord has... Uh, 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 you know, prepared for us, man. You could have, you could be the most richest man in this world, man, but it cannot be compared to what what the Lord has for us. You see, so hey, we gotta have that attitude of forsaking this world, man. That mindset. All right, I'm just to tell you in Romans the twelfth chapter, the second verse, that we must renew our mind and not be conformed to the fashion of this world, man. We must renew our mind, man. It, 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 you gotta have a major transformation, and that's a daily sacrifice, man. Mortifying your flesh daily, dying daily, making sure that that you put in the Lord first before anything else, before your woman, before your kids, before your job, right? So it says, uh, I'm gonna read verse 22, 27 again. 
Then answered Peter and said unto him, Behold, we have forsaken all and followed thee. What shall we have therefore? And Yahushai said unto them, Verily I say unto you that that ye which have followed me in the regeneration, when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory, in that regeneration is what, man? When, when um, uh, when we are back in, in you know, in, when in the kingdom, man. In the kingdom. All right? Because uh, Yahusha was speaking to Peter, they're going to be uh, reincarnated back and they're going to receive the kingdom because they, you know, they fell asleep. They were put, you know, they died. All right? But that's why Yahusha said, some of you are, 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 are not going to taste death. And he was speaking to his disciples, but all his disciples were put to death, which meant that he was speaking uh, um, in the latter days, man. When salvation, uh, um, you know, comes, that's the regeneration. When, when we, when we're, uh, the, the kingdom of heaven is uh, um, given unto us, man, Lord willing. But it says that that ye which have followed me in the regeneration, when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of His glory, ye also shall sit upon twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel, man. All right. And that's so. That's the. That's the. And that's gonna be the the, the 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 twelve disciples, man, having their own thrones, you know, under, you know, uh, Yahushai, Peter being the head disciple, which Peter is King David in, in the reincarnation. All right. Then the rest of the elect, which man, you know, it, it's, it, the scriptures, the Lord is gonna make us a praise of, throughout the whole world, man. All right. Right now we are as filthy rags. We are despised. You know, we, we are uh, we are kind of as fools for your house side sake. You know, none of us consider that we possibly could be of the elect. You know, that's why the scripture says in Wisdom of Solomon in the fifth chapter that they're going to be amazed at the strangeness of our salvation. All right, they're going to be like, how is this man numbered with the saints, with those that be saved? Him that we count in his life, his death without honor, man. You know? Hey, like Yahweh Shai said, hey, when they scoff Yahweh Shai, man, we were with you since thy since thy birth, man. How are you a prophet? Is you know? So hey, that, that's that's how it's perfect how the Lord chose the lowly to confound the wise, man. Because hey, that's gonna show His power, man. It's gonna show how much more the uh the glory, much more uh, um uh amazing is gonna be because no one ever thought. That these men, the men of the Lord, were going to be those that were going to be delivered, man. All right. Verse 29 says, And everyone that hath forsaken houses, and, or brethren, or sisters, or father, or mother, or wife, or children, or lands, for my name's sake, shall receive a hundredfold, and shall inherit everlasting life. All right. Everlasting life, man. So this is a temporal world where the things that we lose, are, we're going to regain it a hundredfold. All right? Ain't nothing compared to what Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is going to give us. So we must, you know, stand firm and, you know, gird up our loins through affliction, gird up our loins, you know, through the trials. Because that, that trial is a purification process, man. You become a, You become a stronger man. When you go through stuff, when you put through a fire and then you come back as gold. All right. And that's what our nation lacks, man. We're so docile. We're so conditioned to be conformed, man. But hey, the men of the Lord are being refined as silver is, man, as gold is. And that's the one third, man. Well, two thirds, they're going to be refined. They're going to be, per uh, uh, they're going to be, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, um, purified through that nuclear destruction. Or through the fire of, of the chariots, which which are, which are the uh, uh, the Lord's, um, you know, chariots are, are these so-called UFOs that have been uh, um, appearing lately, all right. And all eyes shall see. One day, a hey, people are gonna bug out. Hearts men shall fail for the fear, man. They, and they're gonna see how shy and, and thousands and thousands of angels in those chariots in the sky, man. And then shall they know a prophet was among us, among them, man. Because we've been teaching, we've been prophesying, and 
And once they see it, man, they're going to know. All right? Verse 30 says, But many that are first shall be last, and the last shall be first, man. So right now we're last, man. We're losing. We're taking, you know, you know, you know, we're taking the, the L's, which are really lessons. But, you know, we're, we're forsaking all just so it could be first, man, with Yahweh Shai Rainy, man. All right? So with that, Abba Ratzis, this lesson was edifying through the spirit party. Yahweh Shai, 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 Yahweh Shai